guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today, I'm gonna to bring you along for another delicious barbecue sauce. I've got some apricots that are going south on me, and I thought, you know what? I need a barbecue sauce for a dish I've planned this weekend, and it's just the ticket for what I'm gonna do. So, we're gonna make an apricot brandy barbecue sauce, and if that doesn't sound delicious, wait for the next recipe and see what I put this on. But today I'll bring you along for this simple barbecue sauce. Literally takes 20 minutes to put together and you've got a homemade sauce that everyone loves. So let's go make an apricot brandied barbecue sauce. All right guys, come on. So I'm excited that you stayed for this delicious barbecue sauce. This is so easy, like any other barbecue sauce. I don't buy it because I don't want all the additives and stuff that comes with bottled barbecue. So I've got four very, very ripe, you want these overly ripe um, apricots that I've just seeded. I don't take the skins off. I don't, you know, they just kind of meld into the sauce so there's really no need. Um, I've got all the usual suspects and then some. I've got apple cider vinegar and this is the organic version with the mother in it. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup. I might add a little bit more because this is um, a little smaller version of my recipe because we're taking this camping and it's gonna go on a delicious dish that I am gonna bring you along for at a later date. Okay, so some mustard, about a quarter cup. Let's make it a full quarter cup of mustard. I want a good cup of ketchup and this is an organic ketchup um, and later this summer I hope to bring you along for my homemade ketchup because I'm going to start bottling more of that up. and then I've got apricot brandy and um, brown sugar let's add our brown sugar first I'm going to do a packed half cup of brown sugar because we want this sweet and then a good healthy quarter cup of our apricot brandy mm. which is going to add another layer of sweetness as well and a little bit of salt and pepper and we'll be good to go get this on the stove so let me get the pepper in here and I like a fair amount of pepper it's it's just a nice additive to the sweet of the apricots okay fresh cracked black pepper and some Himalayan pink salt to balance all the acidity and the sweetness out and now we're going over to the stove so I'll bring you over and show you what I got so I've got this on the stove and what I'm going to do is bring this to, up to a good simmer and let those apricots finish breaking down. And once we get the immersion blender in here, you won't even know that there's a little bit of that peel in there. Now, if your apricots were not as ripe as these are, you could um, blanch them and peel them, but they would have fallen apart. So it's a good way to use up fruit that's going south on you because apricots go fast. I got a big um, bunch of them at Costco and I could not eat them all. I was eating as many as I could but I had that last four and I thought mm, I'm gonna make barbecue sauce for a delicious recipe I've got coming up and I can't wait to share that one with you. So hopefully you go check out all the links that I've left for you in the description box below. Wild Tree, I've got my website over there, my Facebook page, um, you can always find me on Facebook at Linda's Pantry, and I've even got a Zacon food link um, where you can sign up for free for an event in your area to get deep discounted meats. All right, so we'll bring this up to a simmer and um, let it simmer for about 15 minutes, and then we'll waz it up and put it in the jar. And so I had this simmering, as you can see. I, I want to reduce it a little bit. Um, and I took a taste of it. It's absolutely delicious, full of apricot flavor, sweet, uh, and I really want a little bit more twang to it. 
but I don't want to add more apple cider vinegar. So I decided, because I think it needs more acidity, I'm going to use a really good balsamic and we're going to add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. That'll still keep the sweetness as far as that integrity goes. And um, I'll just have to reduce it a little bit longer. And I think that that's going to make this absolutely perfect. And it's got this really rich color now. So this is our barbecue sauce. It's had a little bit of time to sit here and cool, and, and you can see it's thickening up. It coats the spoon beautifully. That's perfect consistency for barbecue sauce. And I, I, I want that thin coat that'll glaze over. And so, um, so it made exactly up one pint and one fourth pint. Uh, and I'm gonna take this to work and let the girls try it because uh, it's really good. <laughs> It's really good. I'm going to give you a taste test right now. Mm. And I didn't leave any back behind. Mm -mm -mm. It's sweet. It's tangy. I love the balsamic addition. Um, it's got that beautiful apricot flavor. And the brandy in the background is outstanding. So this will be delicious on chicken but I'm going to do it on a pork tenderloin, and I hope you stay along for that one because it's going to be a fantastic recipe. We're going to do this out camping. So, as always, guys, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you hit subscribe. And if you are, I can't wait to see you next time. And um, maybe hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you really like it, go share it on your Facebook page because it's super simple. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. So today I'm going to bring you along for a delicious barbecue sauce. I hope that it's, 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 it's.